Hey guys, so today we're going to be replacing a temperature blend or motor or actuator on a 2007 Ford F-150. Now this goes all the way from 04 2010 and that is the part number for the motor right there, Motorcraft. It's about 45 bucks your cost at the dealership. So first things first is you need some sort of panel popper, screwdriver, however, whatever you got. You gotta pop this cover off right here. I already got it off part way, so go ahead and pull it off enough. Okay. And then there's this connector that's right here. It's actually gonna be connected to right there. So you go ahead and you disconnect that, move it out of the way like that. And then you're gonna have four seven millimeter bolts to remove the radio. And then you're going to have a gray connector right there, and then the black for the antenna, you just pull it out. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect those. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a motor right there. That's what you're replacing. So there's going to be three 8 millimeter screws you're going to take out of it. And then first you got to disconnect that electrical connector with the red tab on it. So you push the red tab back. Screwdriver or something. Just like that. Hand in there. Push on the tab and pull it out. Just like that. Okay. So there's two on this side. And there's going to be one in the back. You're going to need a wrench for them and a socket uh, and quarter inch ratchet. Maybe I'll reach the back one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Thanks. Alright, so I got the three bolts out of that. Now I got the back one. I realized that it was easier to drop the glove box and put your hand through here. You can actually grab the whole um, motor and you can reach that back one. If you're going to do this job, Get a ratcheting 8 millimeter wrench. This thing, I couldn't fit anything else in there but that. So, and then to drop the glove box, there's just this tab here, this tab here. You, you literally squeeze them together and get it past this lip here and drop it down. And that's it. So, I got the three screws out. Alright, come on out. So what happens is these things they get plugged full of dust and they don't want to allow you to switch from cold air to hot air. It gets stuck. It doesn't make a popping noise really. It just, it just stops working. Um, but yeah, so you can see how dirty it is and I'm sure if you took it apart there would be a bunch of dirt in there. But that's the biggest common problem with these actuators. Uh, I do work at a Ford dealership as an auto technician. Um, so I hope all these videos are helpful to you for the daily guy who these are very common problems that go out on these vehicles. So I'm going to re keep recording on installing everything. So stay tuned. I don't know if I pointed this out, but to get to line up, you just stick this with the splines back into the hole and it drops in. You hear kind of a pop or just set in and it's in and then bolt it on all down and plug it back in and slap it back together. Alright, so after you put your 3mm bolts back in, go ahead and grab your connector and plug it in. Nope. Plug it in and push the red tab in. I don't know if you heard that click. There you go. Alright, and after that, take your radio and plug it in and then tighten it up. this connector in the back of here and click it back in. Okay. 
so that should be good. And it's up to you if you want to disconnect all these plugins for this, but I had plenty of room. Use this, connect that, and then swing it down. And then uh, just don't forget to slap her back up. All right, and go ahead and test it out. She works. Hot air. Cool. Thanks guys. Hope this video helps. All you need is a 7mm, you know, electric drill or a ratchet, trim tool. Um, sometimes a mini screwdriver would help with that clip. And a ratcheting 8mm wrench. And pfft, that's it, man. You got her. There's the part number once again. Watercraft. It's about 40, 45 bucks. Right, guys. Hopefully this video is helpful. Thank you. Have a good day.